Hi guys. So this video, I'm going to talk about the different mindsets that we can have. Um, I took some notes here, so I'm going to refer to them as I'm speaking to you. So the different types of mindsets, what do I mean by mindsets? <clears throat> a mindset is a fixed mental attitude or disposition it, that predetermines a person's responses to interpretations of situations. So it's your, it's a fixed mental attitude, meaning it's your, your beliefs, the way you believe in thinking, um, the way that you believe in responding to, you know, certain situations. So the interpretations or situations that may occur, you may already have a fixed mindset, meaning it's just a regular way of thinking. Maybe it's something you've a, learned through your parents. It might be something you learned to watch in other people, or it may be just a way that you taught yourself to respond to something because it's happened over and over. So there's many different types of mindsets. Um, the number of potential mindsets that exist really depends on how much you generalize the word mindset. Uh, the closer that you look into it, the more differentiations you'll figure out. Um, you could class as an individual mindset, meaning that you have your own perspective, your own ways. Um, however, a lot of people fit into a very small number of mindsets, most of which I'm going to list for you now. So there's about 15 different types of mindsets that people have. The different types of mindsets in which have been listed in many articles um, are pretty common, pretty general. So majority of you will have one of these 15 mindsets. One is the social mindset. That is the person that likes hanging out. That's the person that likes um, being around other people, being in crowds, um, making new friends, um, kind of like a type A personality. This is a, a person who likes to explore new cultures and new ways. Uh, trying things different. Um, somebody who thrives on being very social, outgoing. Um, they also get a kick out of talking to strangers. So that is definitely an example. That's an example of a social mindset. The advantages of having a social mindset, it might make it easier to make new friends. Um, you definitely possess great communication customer service skills. You're able to be comfortable in the majority of social situations. A lot of things don't make you uncomfortable. The disadvantage of having this social mindset could be that you can rely on talking with others for happiness, depending on other people to make you happy. Um, you might be too concerned with how other people feel about you. So that could be one. The next would be the growth mindset. And the growth mindset is a wonderful and amazing mindset. People who have desire and drive to grow are always improving themselves. They love challenges. They love themselves constantly and being better than that they than they were yesterday. So that's pretty much that. And, and it's fairly easy to tell when somebody has a growth mindset. Uh, they're likely to make going to the gym a regular activity or they're always being... Uh, worried about building uh, their knowledge of themselves and the universe itself. They often become entrepreneurs or seeking help, uh, to, seeking to help others to grow. They have an outlook that a situation can always get better. A very positive, optimistic outlook. The advantage of having the growth mindset is that you're going to be improving different areas of your life at a fast pace. It means that things are going to be a lot easier for you to put the work in that's needed to succeed. The next mindset is the fear mindset, which many of us have. There's a little bit of fear mindset in all of us. But those that let the fear mindset become the major way of thinking or being stuck, people who fear or people who let fear get the best of them, are unable to use their time to the best of their ability. Although thrilling experience, places, traveled, achievements, and such really never happen. 
They never happen because of the fear of what could go wrong. That leads to a very minimal, quite frankly, dull life. The advantage of having a fear mindset, there's really no advantages to it. It doesn't benefit anybody in any way, shape, or form. The disadvantages is that you can never achieve your dreams because you're afraid. You'll live inside of a shell, afraid to try new things, afraid to meet new people. It'll become difficult to find your passion or your purpose here in life if you allow fear to take over. Then we have the lazy mindset. The lazy mindset is pretty much a poor mindset. Definitely a poor mindset to have because it also is a mindset that many people are adopting upon themselves this day and age. Why? Why? Because we've made them lazy through fast food, through advanced technology, such as the likes of TV, social media, uh, not to mention a number of other factors like cell phones and, and different things. So we have to discipline and a lot of us have no desire to get off our asses and do something productive. The advantage of being a lazy mindset, um, it's easy to achieve happiness in a short term aspect, short term. The disadvantage is that you're unlikely to possess the discipline to achieve big things. Not good. The envy, envy mindset is somebody who is envious, often jealous of other people who perhaps are doing better than them. Other people who maybe have better cars, bigger houses, better relationships. <clears throat> Maybe they're jealous because of someone's success success, or, again, healthy relationships. A great job, a lot of wealth, sexy body, somebody's looks. The advantage of the envy mindset, the advantage of having that, it can be a motivational factor if you use it in a positive way, pushing you towards action to make you do something, to make you... Want to get off your butt to look like the other person or exercise like them or make the money like them or, you know, it can boost you if you use it right. The disadvantage would be you become obsessed with what other people are doing. You waste your time over other people very easily. You may come across to others as being a negative person or doing things in a negative kind of way. Then you have the business mindset. The business mindset is... Many of you who are reading different articles because you're interested in entrepreneurship, to own your own business, the business mindset is one in which you love serving others. You love to provide a service to people to help change the world, to whilst um, also to be working on yourself, creating your own path, so to speak. The advantage of a business mindset would be uh, possessing the qualities that you need to help others. Uh, you're able to solve difficult problems. You can achieve financial freedom and independence very quickly. The disadvantage, you might be focused too much on money and not on passion. The dreamer mindset. Now, the dreamer mindset is the one that I really love the most because people who possess the mindset have the ability to dream big and think big. They love to be that anything is possible, thought. They love that. And they have the ability to come up with incredible visions for the future. Very creative people. The advantage of a dreamer mindset is you possess the ability to think big. You know what you want for your future. You realize how much you can achieve from your life. The disadvantage, dreaming is only good if you take action on those dreams. The follower mindset. Now be careful of this one. The follower mindset is a way of thinking that easily allows others to decide what's in store for your future with the follow mindset or the follower mindset. You don't have complete control. You're not taking advantage of the choices and decisions that you have to make. You're allowing other people to make those choices and decisions for you. 
They don't want to question things. So a lot of people with this mindset go to school like they're supposed to. They get a job like they're supposed to. They start a family like they're supposed to. They do everything like they're supposed to. Because somebody told them to. <clears throat> the advantage of the follower mindset. There's less risk being a follower. And you'll feel safe. The disadvantage is you'll be going after what others want and not necessarily what you want. You might never truly achieve happiness because it's not your happiness you're achieving, it's somebody else's. Then you have the greed mindset. The greed mindset, we're all guilty of wanting more, right? It often doesn't ha know how much money we make, but we still want more. Like, no matter how much we make, we still want more. It's never enough. In the past... The wealthy have been associated with being greedy, right? A common misconception. Nothing good comes from being greedy. And when we want more, we never fully achieve happiness despite how much we have to be thankful for in our lives. The advantage of the greed mindset is that it may motivate you towards becoming a successful and wealthy individual. The disadvantage, your greed may be the death of you. Your greed may be the death of you. You'll always want more. You'll never be satisfied. Never fully satisfied. The gratitude mindset. We put the greed mindset before the gratitude mindset in this situation because a lot of people forget to be grateful for everything they have in this life. For having a roof over their head. For having a job that pays you. A family. A good supply of food and water. We often forget to be thankful for what we have because the majority of people within our country or origin have exactly the same as us. The people we speak with and spend time with on a daily basis all have access to the same basic resources as we have. If you can be grateful for what you have, you won't take anything for granted in life and you'll be happier in the long run. Advantages to this, to appreciate the things that you have a lot more. It kind of keeps you humble, no matter how much success you have in your life. It will keep you humble. You'll make the most of the precious time that you do have. The confident mindset is the key to action and happiness. When you combine confidence with a few other state of minds on the list that we're going to come up with, well, you can become unstoppable. How confident we are has a huge effect on our mental health. And our physical health. How we think about ourselves and our ability to be social. And our belief in our capabilities. The advantage, you get happier with yourself just the way you are. You accept yourself. And you're, you like yourself. It's easier for you in social situations. You're more likely to take on action on your goals. Then you have the creative mindset. Being creative is a lot more difficult than it seems. At first, you think that you're being creative, but you're really just replicating ideas that you've seen before without even knowing it. If you're a creative individual, that's a great thing because it means that you're able to be unique, different. Many people struggle with this. It becomes hard for them to produce their best work. Advantage, you're able to produce unique ideas that others couldn't never think of. You just, you come out with it. Stuff far-fetched. Unheard of. Unlikely. You're a natural problem solver. You possess, you possess a skill that is tough for others to master. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can do that. Disadvantage. Creativity could lead you to overcomplicating the simplest things. The simplest things. The short-term mindset. That's pretty much similar to the lazy mindset. In fact, the people who are lazy tend to be people that are only obsessed with short-term happiness. They just want that instant quick gratification. What's the advantage of the short-term mindset is that you become happy for just a short period of time. It's like for this moment. I just need to be happy right now. 
I'm not worrying about long term. I'm not worrying about the future. I'm not preparing for the future. I'm just going to worry about today. Disadvantages are you are reliant on addiction and lazy habits. You're pushing yourself towards a miserable life in the long run. Nothing good comes from something easy. Then we have the angry mindset. Mm -hmm. With the angry mindset, people who suffer from anger issues have angry mindsets. Maybe they've gone through some really tough situations in the past that's led them to becoming an angry individual. There could be a lot of causes behind somebody's anger issues. But the end result is them taking things out on other people a lot of the time. People that don't deserve that. The advantage of angry mindset is potential motivation to improve your life and better yourself. But that's only if you get angry with yourself and make changes. The disadvantage is that you hurt other people around you. You're unable to control your emotions. You waste time blaming others for things that are wrong in your life. Things that you're responsible for. You don't become accountable. Then we have the productive mindset. The productive mindset is brilliant. Brilliant. It allows somebody to make the most of their time and get tasks completed efficiently. People who possess this state of mind are able to work toward their goals at a much faster rate and are likely to succeed and unlikely to fall victim to distractions. Advantage of this you find it easy to prioritize more important tasks over others. You get work done efficiently without distraction. Disadvantage, you overwork yourself. You might overwork yourself in time. Overwork yourself. So here's a summary. Let's finish this by recapping a little bit. We have the social mindset. The growth mindset, the fear mindset, the lazy mindset, the envy mindset, the business, the dreamer, the follower, the greed, the gratitude, the creative, the confident, the short term, and the angry mindset. In conclusion, there are a lot of different types of mindsets people have in life. Depending on how much you want to generalize what makes a mindset, the number of variations could be endless. On the other hand, it could simply boil down to two mindsets, positive and negative, much more simplified. By watching this video and understanding, it should help you to, to see things a little bit more clearer. To identify your own mindset that you may be experiencing, it may change on a daily basis. You may mix two different mindsets or three, four, five all together in one, in one day. If you'd like to learn more about adopting important mindsets and changing your mindset, changing your focus, your, your attitude, your outlook, well then, definitely follow up on the article that I read. This article is definitely um, something you'll want to check into. It was something that I found on the internet. This was none of my work. None of my knowing um, to be able to explain to you in this pattern. But I will tell you uh, as I'm trying to scroll back to give you one second the information. This is written by Dan Western. Okay. And it's under wealthygorilla.com. W E A L T H Y G O R I L L A. Dot com. This is an amazing article that Dan Western wrote. And Dan, I thank you so that I could share this on my page for people to understand the different mindsets and how they affect us, how they help us to succeed, or how they keep us stuck in one place where we don't want to be and we can't figure out how to get out of it. Well, I think Dan just opened up some doors for us. So thank you for the great tips on dealing with the different mindsets, helping to deal with frustration, a lot of different steps to help you become the person that you want to be. To help you practice personal development. 
It's kind of like a beginner's guide to intermittent mm, ups and downs. It'll teach you how to regulate, to become balanced, to figure out how to approach certain situations or people. A lot of us don't want to be seen negative by other people, right? We want people to think we have a negative attitude. We go in for a job and we wonder why we didn't get that job. It wasn't because we didn't have the skills because your skills are right there. But when you're talking to that person and you're interviewing with them, perhaps they saw one of these mindsets and didn't like it. So check it out. I just thought this would help.